So it's complex, but I'll try to give you the nutshell version. Um, basically, we cut a channel in the ice. We have a big circular saw that cuts a, a pattern that is uh, roughly 19 by 15 uh, after the saw goes through, some say 20 by 16, but we break off these blocks, push them down a channel, up a wooden ramp uh, to get to the level of the back of a, a pickup truck. We have a farm truck, two of them that we load the ice into. A winch helps pull the ice up the ramp along with uh, the hooker. Uh, we grab five blocks at a time, bring them up on the ramp, slide them in the back of the truck, load the truck up and bring it to one of our two ice houses. We have two or three folks in that ice house packing it tight against each other. Uh, we've seen other operations do it, pack each block in sawdust, but we find it way more efficient uh, to just, we have the walls and the ice house insulated with sawdust. You pack the ice tight against the walls and each other and stack it all up. And the, the number of rows depends on how thick the ice is. Some years the ice can get up to 15 inches thick, so you have fewer rows. But, um, so we, we pack that all when we're done with one ice house. We put sawdust, about a foot of sawdust on top, and that ice would last until you know this time next year. Uh, if we didn't touch it. Um, and that's a nutshell view. And then when it comes summertime, our outside crew, they they haul the blocks out, they drop the ice blocks out, the pair of tongs, bring it up to a ramp and hose it down, uh, hose the ice blocks down, get the sawdust off, and wheel it to each cottage. With an ice pick, they break it down to the size that fits in the refrigeration compartment of the ice box. And that's it. Our guests are happy. Job is done.